Now the next gauge to be looking at is known as the Parkinsonian Parkinsonian gate. I always be thinking that I say Parkinsonism, All right? But it's actually Parkinsonian gate. Parkinsonian gate, All right? So Parkinsonian gate is also known as shuffling gate, All right? It's also known as propulsive gate. It has so many names, but you have to know all these names because they can actually twist it. If I want to ask you a question on this, definitely I won't say Parkinsonian gate because your mind now go towards Parkinson's disease. Do you understand? So they always twist it. So for Parkinsonian gate, when they say something is shuffling, that means it's like you are shuffling some cards where you are playing cards. You are going forward, coming back, going forward, coming back. You get. <clears throat> so we'll talk about it from the definition. We we'll talk about the characteristics. We we'll talk about the causes. The diagnosis, possible treatment for this type of gait. So this Parkinsonian gait is a type of gait that is often seen in individuals with Parkinson's disease. Okay. So it's characterized by what specific movement patterns and abnormalities. So looking at the key point. All right. So for the characteristics. You'll be walking short steps, and those short steps you'll be shuffling them. Okay, so shuffling steps. The person takes short shuffling steps and has difficulties lifting their foot off the ground. Stooped posture. The person typically has a forward leaning. You are leaning forward. You understand? You are leaning forward, right? So reduce arm swinging. There's a minimal or even no arm swinging while you're walking. Normally, when you walk, Swinging your arms, but this one is no arm swinging when you walk, right? Freezing of gait. The person may suddenly will stop walking and feel as if their feet is glued to the ground, especially when turning or navigating through tight spaces. Okay, so there will be difficulties starting or stopping walking. Okay, so the person may have trouble initiating movement that start hesitation. And there'll be problems stopping the walking once they are started. So much problem, right? Then fascinating gait. So the person's steps becomes progressively fast and shorter. Okay. Fast and shorter. Often resulting in a forward falling motion as they try to keep up with their center of gravity. Please let me take something down. Something so important. Okay. All right. So I've done. Now, what are the causes? Chiefly, shuffling gates or propulsive gates or Parkinsonian gate is caused by Parkinson's disease. Okay. So Parkinson's disease is actually a neuro neurodegenerative condition that affects dopamine producing neurons in the brain. Okay, then Parkinsonism. These ones are conditions that are similar to what Parkinson's disease, such as what multiple system atrophy, progressive supranuclear palsy. All of this can cause what a Parkinsonian gait. Okay, what is the diagnosis? Of course, you have known the characteristics of the gait. So once you know the characteristics of the gait, if you just observe the patient, you know that okay, they actually have this type of gait. Okay, so you are accessing the person's gait posture and movement patterns okay therefore neurological examination this is when you are evaluating muscle tone reflexes coordination and other signs of parkinson's disease okay which is basically rigidity tremors ataxia and all of that so imaging studies mri ct scan all of this can help you to rule out other similar conditions or other similar symptoms what is the treatment so you know that basically you are dealing with Parkinson's. So every treatment you are giving to Parkinson's, you can now give it here, all right? So dopaminergic medications such as for level dopa or dopamine agonists, all of this can help to manage the symptoms, okay? Physical therapy, you can now what? Advise the person to be doing what? Exercise just to improve their balance, strength, and coordination. Gait training. This one is basically some techniques to improve walking patterns and reduce freezing episodes, okay? Then assistive devices. 
So use canes, walkers, or other devices just to what? Enhance stability and safety of the patient. So deep brain, brain stimulation, this one is a surgical procedure just to help manage severe symptoms in some cases, okay? So Parkinsonian gait is affecting the person greatly. So if you see somebody out there with a Parkinsonian gait, always help them one or two. If you're a medical practitioner, do what you can do to actually what to help their condition. So that's it, guys, for Parkinsonian gait or shuffling gait or propulsive gait, which is seen in Parkinson's disease patients.